Good morning, Collins. Good morning, Vicar. Come to meet someone off the 12 o'clock? That's right, yes. Oh, I'm sorry to say it's running a few minutes late, sir. Oh, bother. Why don't you pop across the road and have a quick one in the pub while they're waiting? I'm surprised that you should suggest such a thing, Thomas. After all, I'm here to meet the bishop. I could hardly greet him with the smell of half a dozen, uh, the smell of whiskey upon my breath, could I? <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. Yeah, you're in luck, sir. Here she comes. Not as late as I expected. Oh. Him. This young fellow slipped and fell in the river. I'm giving him artificial respiration. Oh, that won't do any good. What he wants is the kiss of life. Turn him over. To you, sir. Good morning. 50p, eh? Ah, that's what I said, sir. There you are. Oh, thank you kindly, sir. Well? Well, watch her. Pick your own strawberries. Where are they? Oh, don't know about yours, sir. Mine are in the back there. What? <laughs> what did you take the 50p for, then? The advice, sir. Morning. Having a bit of trouble with one of your horses, I hear. Yes, she's been sweating up a bit. Yes, well, I better have a look at her. Could be a touch of colic. Vicky! Come over here a minute, love. Ah, good morning. Come on. <laughs> Take the vet round. Show him with the mirrors, will you? <laughs> ah, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, girl. Steady. Whoa, ah. Ah, ah, there's a good girl. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Where's this damn Gigi that's not feeling too good? <laughs> ah! Morning, sir. You catching anything? No. Well, just a few little ones. Is there anything decent in here? Oh, ah, if you know how to catch them, sir, there's some beauties in there. <laughs> what kind of bait are you using, sir? I've tried gentles and bread paste. Oh, that's no good, sir. You're wasting your time. What is the best thing to use, then? Well, it's a little thing I make of myself, sir. I call it Fritton's Infallible, sir. Good, is it? Good, sir. Only two snags, sir. First one is it costs a bob or two to prepare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps I could, uh... Oh. oh, thank you, sir. There you are, sir. Just a little smidge on the end of your line, and you'll catch them all right, sir. Here you are, Get it in here. Ah, you are. <laughs> Ah, that's enough, sir. 
And what's the second snag? Yeah! <laughs> Ah, oh, good morning, ladies. Good morning, Vicar. I don't know if I mentioned that about six months ago we were fortunate to have a visit from the pipe band of the Royal Fusiliers. Really? <laughs> and how did they perform? Extremely well, from the look of things. <laughs> Get a do now. All the godforsaken places to break down. Well, don't shout at me, Ralph. Oh, why not? It's your blasted awful map reading that landed us here in the first place. Well, can't you do something to get it going again? I know perfectly well. I don't know the first damn thing about cars. Do you think the Queen will be very angry if we're late? Oh, my God Almighty, doesn't even bear thinking about. I'll be kneeling in front of her two hours late and she'll have a sword. <laughs> This has ruined my proudest day. Ruined your day? What the devil do you think it's done to mine? Here I am, getting a knighthood for running the biggest car manufacturers in the country, and one of our own blasted cars can't even get us from Northampton down to Buckingham Palace. I would have thought, since you make cars, you'd know how to mend them. I have told you before, I do not make them. My job is simply to explain away the millions of pounds we lose every year. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Look, I'm terribly sorry to trouble you, but yeah. um, uh, do you know anything about car engines? Well, a bit. Not a lot, but a bit. <laughs> well, you see, I don't know anything at all about them, and I've broken down. I was wondering if you could possibly help me. Yeah. Get off. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. That's my bird, that is. She's not much in the mental department, but physically. <laughs> we were driving down to Brighton for, uh, well, you know what people drive down to Brighton for, don't you? <laughs> well, hello there. You're all sprawled up, aren't you? <laughs> you going to a wedding or something? Well, no, uh, Buckingham Palace, as a matter of fact. Ah, well, ask a silly question. Oh, no, really, no, no, you see, I'm, uh, I'm going to get one on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> You keep looking at my bird like that, mate, you'll get one up the nostril, aren't you? <laughs> well, what have you got here, then? Yeah, well, it's, um, it's a Ryman. A Ryman? Yes. A load of bloody rubbish, they are. <laughs> yeah, I should know. My brother works for them. He's a swiper. A uh, swiper? Uh, what's that? Well, they put the bits in the stores and he swipes them out again. <laughs> He'll nick you an engine, if you like. I'll have you know my husband is in charge of that company. Oh, well, he can nick one for himself, then, can't he, eh? <laughs> Well, let's have a look at the old jalopy, shall we? Oh, I say, ready? Yeah. Oh, how very kind of you. Well, now, uh, uh, what do you think? Um, any hope? Always, always hope, mate. Always hope, yeah. And uh, you say you don't know very much about this. Well, no, no, I'm afraid I'm totally ignorant. Well, in that case, you've got a disconnected judder chaser which is out of alignment with the Fergal rod. <laughs> oh, heavens, well, is that bad? Well, it's not bad, as long as you don't want to go anywhere, you know. Sure. Well, I do, I mean, I want to go to Buckingham Palace. Yeah, well, I can fix it in a couple of hours. Two hours? Yeah. You might as well nip behind the Edwards and Mrs and make the most of it, mightn't you, eh? <laughs> we can't keep Her Majesty waiting. What possible excuse can we make? Well, tell her you read the invite wrong and went to the Victoria Palace. <laughs> OK, we've got to get there somehow. Yeah. Of course, there's always the bike. Oh, I mean, you, would, you wouldn't really, would you? Lend us your bike. I won't lend it. No, I'll hire it to you. Oh, really? How much? How much you got? Yeah, oh, come on, over quickly. This is cash. Chop, chop. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. There must be... Um, well, I think it must be about £80, eh? Pounds, huh? Oh, great. Oi! Get your helmet. That's right. You'll need these. Oh. There you are. Oh, thank you very much. I'll go and start the bike for you. Oh. There we are, Liz. Put it on, dear. You know which way around, don't you? There we are. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Yours. How splendid. Going beautifully, that is. There's my card. Oh, yeah. Come, missus. Now, uh, yeah. well, when you, uh, when you bring back my car, you can pick up your bike. Right. Well, off we go, Liz. Here, Here we are. are. Give my love to him and her. <laughs> Here we are. How's that? Hey. <laughs> That's right, that is. Excuse me, sir. 
Yeah? You haven't seen a couple on the motorbike by any chance, have you? Uh, both wearing German helmets. Why? Well, they nicked that bike from the forecourt of a garage down the road. Oh, yeah. Naughty, naughty, eh? Yeah. Well, a couple did go by, yeah? They went that way. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Cheers. Get in. <laughs> no point in driving down to Brighton now, is there? <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> I don't like it, Sid. I don't want to do it. Listen, do you want to earn five hundred pounds or not? Yes. Well, come on in then. <laughs> Excuse me. You, uh, you fixed, are you? <laughs> Pardon? You fixed up? No. <laughs> Well, if you mean, are we getting married? Well, of course we are. Ah. Right. Excuse me, uh, you, you fixed up and all? You fixed? Uh, yes, thanks. Oh. <laughs> uh, are you sorted out, you uh, two? Yes, thank you. Any of you, uh, any of you ladies want a husband? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Sit down. Don't lose art. No need to worry. Somebody will turn up. I mean, this is the right place. I mean, if they want to get married, they've got to come here. I don't like it, Sid. I keep telling you I don't like it. Well, how do you know you don't like it till you've tried it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I let you talk me into it in the first place. And we was perfectly happy drawing the unemployment. And we've nothing to worry about. You can't go through life with that attitude. You've got to have a career. He's worried, you see. It's his first time. First time for what? Getting married. Do you seriously mean you're sitting there waiting for just any woman to turn up? Oh, no, no. No, it's got to be a foreign bird. <laughs> Why? Well, he's husband and convenience, you see. That's his profession. He does it for money. Who well, does what for money? Haven't you read the Sunday News? Oh, was it, it was on page three in last week's. Under the midget and bearded lady rape case. <laughs> I, I didn't see that. Neither did she. Her beard got in the way. <laughs> but for some reason that baffles me, some of these foreign birds want her to stay here, you see, and the only way they can do it is by marrying an English fella. That's where he comes in. What's more, he gets paid for it. Well, I think it's disgusting, marrying for money. It's sordid. Oh, no, he only gets as far as the steps. <laughs> You don't get no conjugals. <laughs> no what? He don't get to exercise his conjugals. <laughs> yeah, you never told me that. Well, stands to reason, doesn't it? I mean, if you start exercising your conjugals, <laughs> you'll have to pay them. <laughs> you can't make a career out of marrying people. For a start, it takes two years to get a divorce. Well, it's all right if you've got a few wives going at the same time. You, you can't do that. It's bigamy. Oh, no, it's not. No, I had him turn Muslim last week. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, he's allowed four wives. I mean, think of the fringe benefits. I mean, he can pick up the wife allowance four times. I mean, that about to put a few quid in your pocket, isn't it? Oh, what, terrible. what I don't understand is where you come into all this. Me? Oh, I'm his agent. I'm his front man. <laughs> If anybody needs a front man, he does. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourselves, both of you. I quite agree. Here, here. Really, the thing some people will do for money. I know, isn't it? Disgusting. Bonjour, monsieur. Excusez-moi. Is there here any gentleman who will care to enter into a marriage of convenience with me for 500 pounds? A cigarette, my dear. <laughs> Why aren't you 
you up there, you burp? I don't smoke. Oh, good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you want a husband 25 quid? <laughs> <laughs> Charles. Oh, college. A bit late today, aren't you? Yes, I I thought I'd have a bit of a lie in this morning. What's going to have, usual? Yes, eh? <laughs> bit late this morning, aren't you? Yeah. Ah, oh, the papers have arrived. <laughs> I'm afraid we've got 22 across wrong. Hey, what was the clue again? I forgot. The boys make sweet music with it. It wasn't crumpet, it was trumpet. College? Where's my tin mug? I'm sorry, Charles, old man. I'm afraid you've been mugged. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. Morning. You, uh, you seem to be in some kind of distress. Is there any way I can be of assistance? No. I'm perfectly all right. Really. You've been peeling onions, perhaps. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's better. Young lady, may I suggest that you confide in me? After all, I, I'm an expert navigator upon the sea of trouble. If there's any misfortune that can happen to a man, it has certainly happened to me. I bet you've never had your handbag stolen. No, but uh, a brigadier of my acquaintance once did. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad. Only my return ticket back home was in it. Where's that, my dear? Macrihanish. 
Sounds like a Scottish version of Bubble and Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, that's better. Now you're beginning to enjoy life. Tell me, what's your problem? No money? That's it, exactly. I need 15 pounds and 37 pence to get back to my mum. 15 per... A mere trifle. Consider the problem solved. Here, wait a minute. I'm not taking money off you. After all, you're a total stranger. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Lancelot Castlemaine Orpington Pendrus. Are you? And you had the nerve to laugh at Macri Hanish. <laughs> and let me tell you, my dear, you couldn't take money from me because for the simple reason I haven't got any. We're both in the same boat, then. However, I do happen to have one attribute which is worth more than a king's ransom. What's that? Low, dirty animal cunning. <laughs> tell me, have you breakfasted? Not a bite. I'm starving. Then allow me to escort you to the local bistro, an establishment known as Murphy's Pie and Beans. Come, my dear. <laughs> Allow me. Oh, thank you. Uh, by the way, my friends call me College. My name's Morag. Charm, charm. Ah. Now, uh, order whatever you like, my love. I'll be with you in a moment. Thanks, College. College. Ah, oh, bonjour, Monsieur Louis. Uh, comment ça va? College, please kindly move away from our premises, will you? Pray, what disturbs you, my sartorial semitic specialist? The clothes, the gear, look at you. Standing under this sign looks like I made them, doesn't it? Exactly. Having nothing better to do, I was endeavouring to direct passers-by into your excellent emporium. Oh, yes? Well, I don't need it. I don't need it. Here, here, come here, come here. Take a quid with my kindness cigars. Now, go, go. Schmeitz. Go on. How nice to have my services appreciated. <laughs> May I bid you shalom alayhim? I think. <laughs> and get knotted yourself. <laughs> oh, thanks, College. That was a smashing breakfast. A pleasure, my dear. A pleasure. And now to your other little problem. Fifteen pounds and thirty-seven pence. I propose to go straight to the Horn of Plenty. Where's that? <laughs> The men of Emp and Social Sec. I shall be but a moment. <laughs> I'm telling you for the last time, College. You may describe yourself as a professional explorer, but you are not getting 20 pounds out of us to start an expedition up the Limpopo. Now clear off. <laughs> Bureaucratic peasant. <laughs> ah, this one never fails. Oh, my contact lenses. My very expensive contact lenses. <laughs> this demands compensation. I should get at least 20 pounds for this. If you scratch my paintwork, mate, what you'll get is a mouthful of knuckles. <laughs> so go on, hop it. Well, I'm very, very sorry, but that's how it is, College. We'd love to help the young lady, but uh, at the moment we're out of funds. In fact, we're probably more broke than you are. Oh, well. Give the drum a couple of belts for me, will you, Major? Bless you. Now, take my advice. Don't worry. Just put your trust in Providence. I will, Major, I will. Ha -ha. <laughs> Watch your <it>, college! <laughs> no sooner the word than the blow. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. So you see the problem, Droopy, old son. The young lady is in urgent need 
Half a quid or two? Yeah, I do understand, colleague, and believe me, I'll do anything I can to assist. Ah, uh, it gives me great comfort to know that we have your full cooperation. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. What you got that brick for, college? Oh, no. Not the pavlova, not the dying swan. Needs must when the devil drives, old son. Poor soul, poor starving wretch, alone in the great metropolis without a farthing to his name. To think that he should be reduced to this. Holder of the VC, great concert pianist, father of 12. He needs a week, nay, a fortnight at the sea to restore him back to health. But how can he afford it? He ought to be on social security. How can he? He's an illegal immigrant. <laughs> I have it. We'll start a collection. I myself will put in my own personal check for five pounds. There we are, five pounds. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Goodbye, college. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. I'll send you a postcard. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye. Ah, well, old son. A happy outcome to a charming encounter. It was a pleasure to lend her that extra 15 quid. Yeah. Smashing little kid, wouldn't you? <laughs> Certainly. Ah. Hello, college. <laughs> Seen off a friend, were you? Yes, a sweet little soul. Little Morag from Macri Hanish in Scotland. Oh, yeah. A Glasgow girt, you mean? Glasgow <laughs> <laughs> what? You were right, little villain, that one. Cool. She must have made hundreds out of that little girl lost routine. <laughs> Glad to see the back of her. <laughs> <laughs> You have my full permission. <laughs> <laughs>